Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am participating in a all bunny collaboration so I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes but first of all if you're new here welcome my name is Brenda and this is my Oliver and if you're returning you know we love you so with all that being said let's get to crafting okay here's DIY number one so for this DIY I'm gonna use this beautiful napkin I got at decoupagenapkin.com I'm going to use this sign from Dollar Tree and my Mod Podge. This is going to be a super easy one, you guys. So I'm going to just start off by uh, putting Mod Podge all around the inside part of this sign, just giving it a good uh, layer. And then once it's all covered, I'm going to set it aside to dry. And I did wipe off that excess that was on the the frame part, the rim. <laughs> I was getting a little crazy there. And then I took my napkin. Now these napkins are three ply. So that second ply I could not get off. So I took some double stick tape and put it on the back and it pulls right off. So nice little trick for you there. Once I had that, all those plies off, I took my paintbrush with some water and I'm going and look, that went just a little bit crazy there because <laughs> had too much water on my brush. But anyways, I am just, um, instead of cutting, I decided to do it this method where you get it wet and then you just pull off that excess there, just like you see me doing. And I do the bottom as well. Then after my Mod Podge was all dry, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I'm just gonna take this and napkin and lay it out. Then I'm taking my, uh, parchment paper just the kind you get for the, your kitchen and I am using my mini heat, heat press to go over that napkin this keeps the wrinkles out and it uh, re, um, resets that glue so the Mod Podge so that uh, the napkin sticks after that I am going to go over the napkin with some more Mod Podge just to protect it so that it keeps that napkin safe I love doing the method with my little heat press. It just, every single time, um, I don't have to worry about wrinkles or bubbles. It just, I just love the way it works. Then I decided I wanted to do something else. So I went ahead and I took some twine, this twine I get from Walmart, and I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna hot glue it all the way around my picture and the main reason why is because some of the napkin was on the edge of the inside edge of the frame and I just kind of wanted to cover it plus you know me I like doing that with the twine anyways so once I went all the way around it I decided to add some butterflies so I took this paint this is sapphire by deco deco art I think it's called Americana and I took two uh butterflies I think I got these from Dollar Tree and I'm painting them with that sapphire color and then I'm going to take two more and I'm going to paint them with this is called lemon custard by folk art and I'm going to paint those and the reason why I did these colors was because there's a blue butterfly and a yellow butterfly on that napkin so I thought it would tie in really nicely and then I'm just going to hot glue them on the end just like you see they're alternating the colors and that's all there was for that I absolutely love that napkin and I love this picture oh I love the way it turned out you have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below Okay, today is the bunny collaboration, and we have Amanda with six kids and a glue gun, Chantel with crafty hints, Krista with Krista's crafty life, and Stephanie with Mama Can Make It. And all these ladies are so talented. I'm sure you know who they are, but if you don't, make sure you check out their channels, show them some love, and check out the playlist. I will have links to all their channels as well as the playlist in my description box below. So here is DIY number two. I love this one too. I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I am going to use this little bunny head from Dollar Tree. One of these plastic little frames from Dollar Tree. Some of these flowers that I got last year at Hobby Lobby. And then this paper that came from this paper pack. I believe I got this last year at Michael's or maybe the year before. <laughs> I've had it for a while. So I started off by just removing the um, frame just pulling it apart 
it just snaps together. And then I'm taking my little finger sander and just kind of sanding it so that uh, when I paint it white, it will adhere better. And I did do two coats of paint. And once that was done, I went ahead and painted my little bunny head and ears here with that same white chalk paint by Waverly. And then, I don't know why I'm going to show you all of this. I guess I felt it was important. But I will note, since we have a moment, that um, I had four of these done. I had so many ideas, you guys. And the next morning, I got up and I thought, you know what? I want to do some more. So I did... You'll see some really colorful ones and more neutral ones because I just kind of had so many ideas. So I, that's what I went with. So then I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color Elephant and I just brushed it around the little ledge there. And then I am dry uh, doing some distressing around that bunny as well. Then I took that plastic piece that came out of the frame and I'm tracing it with the paper and cut it out. And then I'm just going to place it in between the frame there and snap it together. And I'm just going to show you here. It snaps really easy. You just go all the way around and snap it all together. And I think I had one little piece that broke off, but I don't know where it broke off at. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to hot glue my little bunny head to the front of my frame. Then I'm taking this small ribbon. I've had this stash for many, 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 many years. And I'm doing a finger bow. I do a double finger bow. So I went over my fingers twice. Then I go th underneath and be around those two loops, I guess. And then bring that tail through the loop that I made. I don't know. It's hard to explain, you guys. I do it slow so that you can watch it. Ugh, yeah. Anyways, sorry guys. <laughs> then I took some of these roses and I'm hot gluing them in place. And after that, I did trim off the tails there. I thought they were a little too long. And then I took some of these. This comes from Dollar Tree. There's some kind of a ribbon of pearls. I don't know what you want to call them, but I'm just going to cut it down to one strand. And then I'm going to hot glue it all the way around the edge of my sign here. And once I have that all hot glued on, I do use my little uh, spatula thing there because it's right in the corner and it's kind of hard for my fingers to get in there. So I was just using that to make sure it was going right down into that glue, just pushing it in, just like you see. And then I decided to add some more of these flowers on the top right corner and the bottom left corner. And then I made another finger bow with some more of that uh, ribbon and I'm just going to uh, hot glue that to the bottom of the frame there. And then I decided it needed some distressing so I'm just going to go around the edges and in the middle I'm doing the distressing in the front and in the back. And that's all there was for this one. I absolutely adore this one. I think this is so shabby chic and so adorable. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, I want to thank all of my wonderful subscribers. You guys, I love you all so very much. And if you enjoyed today's video and have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that red subscribe button, become part of our family, and then make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and comment, watch the ads. And if you'd like to buy me a copy to help with my crafting here, you can find the link to that as well as my um, social media accounts in the description box below. Okay, here's DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm going to use some of these mini roses I get from Hobby Lobby. I always wait until they're 50% off, which makes them like $1.50. Then I'm going to use this bunny from Dollar Tree. And then this 14-inch wood round comes from Hobby Lobby and then my Waverly Antique Wax. So I'm going to start off by painting the front and the back of this wood round with my wax and I just brush it on with a paintbrush and then I wipe off the excess with a paper towel. And once it was all done, I took another paper towel and I'm just smearing some of that wax along the edge of this bunny. I just think it gives it a nice, just kind of a farmhouse rustic look. After that, I am going to use my wood glue and I'm just putting a whole bunch of it along the middle part of that rabbit. And then I'm taking my uh, hot glue here and I'm just going all around the edge. And then I'm going to add that to the front of my wood round. And again, the wood glue is for permanent hold 
and the hot glue is for immediate. After that, I decided to take some of these roses and um, I'm gonna hot glue them around the neck. I'm just going to trim off that little part that connects to the picks because it kind of sticks out a little bit. So I just trim it on all of them and then I hot glue them just along the neckline there. And then I decided to get my crocodile out and make some holes on my wood round for the hanger. And then I took this ribbon. This ribbon I got at Christmas time from Walmart and I am making a bow by doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle and using some twine to keep it cinched. And then I'm going to do the same with this ribbon. This ribbon I think I got last year from um, Dollar Tree and I'm doing the same kind of ribbon and then I'm gonna attach the two together just like you see me doing here. <laughs> and then after I have this all tightened, I'm going to dovetail the ends and trim off. I trimmed off that uh, twine that I wrapped around it. And then I'm going to hot glue it right in between the bunny's ears to help cover the hanger holes on the bunny. Then I took these beads. Now I got these beads a few weeks ago, a month ago, something like that from Amazon. And I think I have them in my Amazon store and I'm just alternating the colors and adding them for a hanger. And that's all there was for this one as well. I absolutely love the way this came out. It's simple and it's so pretty and it can be for Easter or spring. I just love it. Yep, let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, so it is a time for a celebration of your recreation. And Jamie made this beautiful risen, um, I guess, shelf, shelf sitter. I loved it. Kathy, your little sign is so cute. I love it. And then Julie, she made this door hanger for her mom. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, ladies. I really appreciate it. And if you have, a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can email me pictures to that email address listed there, or you can send me pictures through Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I would be more than happy to <laughs> showcase them here for you. Okay, so here's DIY number four, halfway through, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use this napkin from uh, na decoupage napkin.com as well. This wood paddle, I just recently found at Dollar Tree and then my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. So I'm gonna start off by painting this paddle with my white and I paint the front and the back. After that, I used my painter's tape and I, um, I put a thicker border I don't know what you want to call it. I want to make a stripe. So I put it um, and I measured it, but I don't remember how far apart it was now. <laughs> and then I'm using um, Apple Barrel's pink blush and I'm painting right along the middle. Once it was dry, I also did the same thing and made two smaller stripes along the side of that bigger stripe. After that, I take my Mod Podge and I'm just going to go around the area where I am going to lay my napkin and then once I have this all um, on there I'm going to set it aside to dry uh, and then I am going to take my napkin here and some scissors and I am going to just fussy cut all around this napkin now I should have done the water one uh, way on this because there is a lot of detail but you know what it worked <laughs> then once my paddle was dry I place my napkin right on top there and then I'm going to uh, get my parchment paper out again in my heat press and I'm just going to go over this and um, yeah that just resets the glue and then after that I'm going to go over it with some more Mod Podge. Now I think I went over the whole um, paddle with the Mod Podge because I didn't want to have any brush strokes. I wanted it all to be even. 
After that, once it was dry, I took some tumbling tower blocks. I had painted them white. I took four of them to be exact. And I am just setting two there. And then it didn't, still didn't want to stand. So I added two more on top of those. And then that gave it enough length in the back to stand up. And then I decided I wanted a bow. So I'm using this bow here, this ribbon here. Same ribbon that I used on the last project. And I'm just making a bow, doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up and tying some jute twine. And then I'm gonna dovetail. And you know what? I shouldn't have showed you guys this part because I already showed, showed it to you. I apologize, but you know, sometimes when editing, it's hard to remember some of these things. So once I had it hot glued, I dovetailed the ends and kind of cut it down because I didn't want the ends to cover that bunny rabbit. And that's all there was for this one too. I, I, I love this one. I love that napkin. I think it is so cute and it was so simple. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, moving on along to DIY number five. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use, I actually only used four of these jumbo craft sticks from Walmart. I'm gonna use two of these bunnies. They were $4.99, but they're 40% off. I got those from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use one of, the, oh, sorry, my Waverly Antique Wax, and then one of these palettes from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use my Chalk Couture chalk paste in the color Bright White. And then I'm gonna use part of this transfer from Chalk Couture, and it is called um found patterns some from nature i think that's what it's called i started off by taking this little pick here and removing that hanger the staples are very small and they're kind of hard to get so that's why i had to use that little pick once i had it off i went over all of these items with my wax i used a paintbrush brushed it all on and then wiped it off with a paper towel after that, I'm taking my transfer here and I'm fuzzing it. If you are not familiar with Chalk Couture, I am a designer and they are an adhesive um, transfer and uh, we would like to fuzz them so that when we pull them up, it, um, I should say we like to fuzz them the first time we use them so that when we pull it up, it doesn't pull up the paint. So I'm just using my squeegee here and I'm going over, I only wanted to do part of the bunny with those flowers and I love how this turns out. I almost kind of think maybe I should have done the whole bunny. But anyways, I took the uh, opposite end because I didn't want to get smears of chalk paste <laughs> on the bunny. And then I'm just adding some more roses. And then I went and cleaned off my uh, transfer, which is a silk screen. So you just rinse it off um, in some water. And then I am going to add some wood glue and hot glue and add this palette to one of those bunnies. Now, if you have any questions about Chalk Couture, I'd love to answer them for you. You can e email me or you can ask me in the comments or you can just check out my site. I always have a link to my um, site in the description box as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end of that palette with the wood glue and the hot glue. And then I'm going to add the bunny to that side of it as well. And then after that, I took the um, craft sticks and I'm just kind of marking where I wanna cut them. And then I'm gonna take a X-Acto knife here and I'm lining this up on the line so I know exactly where to cut. And then I'm just going to uh, do some cutting there. And then I'm going to finish the cutting with my scissors. So basically I scored it and then cut it with my scissors. And then I'm just going to add the wood glue and I'm adding wood glue just on the all over the ends of the craft stick. But I only I did wood glue only on the middle part of the palette because I'm going to add the hot glue to the palette. And then I'm going to stick this in there get it all connected. Then I took some tumbling tower blocks that were already painted brown and they were in my stash and I'm just putting them behind those sticks just to give it some additional support. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the top with the with the wood glue, add that stick in. And then I had some small pieces from some tumbling tower blocks that I had cut and I uh, used the wax on them. And then I'm just going to connect them 
to the back as well for some added support. Then I'm just going to use some hot glue, put my uh, floral foam in there, hot glue it on, add some hot glue on the top, and I'm adding some Spanish moss. Now I get this Spanish moss from Hobby Lobby. It came in a huge bag. And I am just going to cover that uh, floral foam with it. And then I'm just going to start filling it with flowers. I fill it with the Gerber daisies. And these daisies come from Hobby Lobby. And then some of those mini roses. And then I found these twine ro uh, covered eggs from um, Dollar Tree. And I added some of those too. And I love how this came out. I think it is so sweet. Um, you have to let me know which one. What you think about this one as well. You'll just have to let me know what you think about all of them. <laughs> okay, DIY number six. Now, I saw this on Pinterest, something similar to this on Pinterest years ago. And I finally found some knee pads with these nice colors. So I'm using those uh, gallon paint stir sticks. And then I got this um, pot from Walmart last year. I'm going to use some floral foam. I traced out uh, or used my Cricut to cut out a bunny shape, the closest to a peep that I could find. And then I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and then three of these knee pads from the garden section of Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start off by taking this decal and it did not want to stick on the uh, uh, the knee pad. Now, I don't know if it's because of the knee pad material or because this was a Dollar Tree vinyl. I don't know, but it didn't want to stick. So I ended up just tracing it with a marker. And then I'm just using my scissors to go around and cut it. Now, this is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. It It, it is a little hard around the circles. So as you can see, I'm kind of cutting uh, part of it there and pulling it off and then I'll cut some more. So I did have to do a lot of trimming when I was done, <clears throat> excuse me, to make it look better. Once I had them all cut out, all three, I'm just using my black Sharpie here to color, to make two eyes and a nose. And then I painted the gallon stir sticks and that pot with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Once it was done, I took a piece of floral foam, stuffed it in the bottom, and then I'm hot gluing this one on top. And then I'm going to take the green bunny rabbit, the green peep, and I'm um, hot gluing the stick to it. And then the pink one, I brought the stick up a little bit more up on the back of the bunny. And then the purple one, I bring that one up even more than what it is on the pink bunny. So that way there, I have a layered effect when I put them in there. So after that, I'm going to hot glue them right onto the back. And then... I took my hot glue and I hot glued that green one right into the between the pot and the floral foam there. Then I stuck these in and I thought afterwards I'm like, hmm, I, I don't really like the edge of the bunnies the way it looked from cutting them. So I decided to take some jute rope here and just trim out the bunnies with my jute rope. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just hot gluing all along the top side or the top edge of the side of my uh, bunnies and um, just going around all of them with the juke rope and I like that better I think it I don't know I just thought it looked a little bit better <laughs> and maybe I'm just crazy but I liked it better anyways and then I took some more of the Spanish moss and covered the floral foam and then I took these eggs from Dollar Tree and I am just going to hot glue some all I'm going to cut off the hangers there and hot glue them all around the inside of that pot just to I don't know give it something more fun now I thought about adding a sign to it that said like welcome peeps or something like that but then I totally forgot <laughs> so that's something you could do too if you recreate something like this then I took some of this I don't know what it is it's a ribbon it comes from it came from Dollar Tree it had this and Rick Rack and a, some more ribbon that has like bunnies and I just went around the pot right under that rim and added that and I thought about adding more to that but I just didn't so then I just took some different ribbons that I got from Dollar Tree and hot glued them to the bunnies and there it is and I just think they are so so cute you have to let me know what you think about them as well
Okay, DIY number seven. We are almost done, guys. And if you're still here, I appreciate it. Okay, Waverly chalk paint in the color white and my antique wax. This little sign I got from Dollar Tree. And then some tumbling tower blocks that have been in my stash. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to take another half bead and I'm going to put it where the hanger was just to cover that hole. And then I'm going to use my white chalk paint on the bunny and then I will do the antique wax over the beads and the rest of the sign. Once it was all done, I took some more white chalk paint and this little brush and I am just going to do some dry brushing with my white chalk paint all around the top part of the beads and I'm just going all the way around it until it makes my eyes happy. After that I am going to take some hot glue. This is super easy you guys and I'm just going to glue to those tumbling tower blocks to the front right under those beads and then I'm going to take the other two and I'm going to glue them to the back and I should have put wax on the back of that sign and I didn't oh my goodness anyways after that I took some of this ribbon I got this last year from uh, Dollar Tree and I'm doing the awareness ribbon making a bow scrunching it up with some twine and then I am going to um, I'm going to trim the ends at an angle I'm not going to dovetail because they're too thin it's not wide enough so I'm just going to cut them at an angle and then I'm going to hot glue it right to the neck of the, our bunny. I guess all our bunnies are girls because I'm giving everything bows. <laughs> then I took some more of these flowers and I'm just going to hot glue them uh, just along the base there. I don't know. I just like flowers and wanted to add a few flowers to it. So um, I think that's all I did. Yep, there it is. Super easy. And I just love how it came out. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Boy, are you tired of me saying that? I, I need to quit saying that. <laughs> okay, DIY number eight. Now you guys, oh, I don't know about this one. Okay, so I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I'm going to use this fluffy uh, yarn that I've had in my stash and this awareness ribbon wreath form from Dollar Tree. Now I saw this one day, it was upside down and I thought, oh, that looks like a bunny to me. So that's where I came up with this idea. And then I'm going to use this charm. So I'm going to start off, I started off by hot gluing the end of that uh, yarn to itself, wrapped it around the bottom bar, glued it, and then I'm just wrapping, 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 wrapping. And then once I get done, I'm going to hot glue that end to the back. And then I'm going to just cut out some more and hot glue it and wrap some more. Now, I, uh, it's easier to get like a whole bunch off of your big roll and then wrap it. It was too hard trying to wrap it and it was going to take too long the other way. So I just cut off a good length and just kept wrapping. Now, once I got to the ears part, this was a little tricky. So I am just going up um, a ways going over like those two bars you see me doing right there. And then when I got up enough, I will start going over all three bars like you see me doing here. And I did have to add a little bit of hot glue there. Um, I, don't, I only had to use hot glue a few times, uh, mainly on the top of the ears. Here was a little trickier, so I did have to use it to make sure that my yarn was sticking. And then when I got to the very top, I added uh, hot glue all the way across that bar and then just stuffed my yarn over it to cover it. Now these charms have this little wire on the back. So I removed that and then I removed the rest of the tags that were on there and I painted both sides front and back white. And I then after that, I um, drew a face with a pencil. Now you guys, you know, I've said this many times, I am not a drawer and <laughs> I don't know why I try, but I try. Anyways, after I had it all dra uh, drawn out, I took my pink blush from Apple Barrel and I am painting in the nose. And then I took my ink by Waverly and I am painting in the eyes. And then I'm going to also take that ink color, which is black, and I'm going to uh, use it to draw in the mouth and the little teeth. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know. My husband, I thought about taking the face off of this and I asked my husband what he thought and he loved it. It kind of grows on me and then it doesn't. So I don't know. My ver verdict is still out on this, but I thought I would still show it anyways. So I did add some white to the eyes and then some of that sapphire blue. And then I also painted some cheeks on there. Now I took that wire that came off of the back of that charm and I cut it in force. And then I'm just using my paintbrush to curl it. And then I'm going to hot glue both of those little pieces onto by the nose to make whiskers for this rabbit. And once I have both of them hot glued, I'm going to um, take some more of that fuzzy yarn and I'm going to wrap I'm going to hot glue it around the edge of this round and I just wrap it. I think I actually go around twice um, and make sure it was all fuzzy <laughs> so that would blend in with the wreath form a little bit better. Then after that, I took this uh, zip tie and I'm going to zip tie it to that top bar between the, the ears. And then I'm going to hot glue the bottom of the rest of the bunny the rest of the face to the bunny after that i took some of this towel this was a towel from dollar tree it's beautiful you guys have you seen their plates that look like this oh I, they're just gorgeous anyways and i'm just gonna hot glue them to the middle of my bunny and then i just made a bow with that gingham ribbon from dollar tree added it to cover the hole on the bunny's head and then i cut out some little flowers and added them to the body and then I made a bow with this big ribbon. I think I got this from Dollar Tree last year or the year before. Anyways, I'm just using the twine that I used to scrunch it to tie it to that bar underneath the, the head. And then, of course, I'm going to dovetail. And then I have, you can see I made another bow with, I think these are just little, uh, like, shoestring bows. Um, they might have been finger bows. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm just going to hot glue that right above the blue one and that and then I used some of that yarn for a hanger and that is all there was for it I think it is pretty cute I love the colors at least but you have to let me know what you think about that one should I kept the face on there or should I taken the face off and just left it without a face I don't know you have to let me know what you think okay here is the first section the reveal of the the colorful bunnies and then then you'll see the um final reveal of the more neutral bunnies i was having all kinds of different feelings wasn't i <laughs> anyways thank you all for joining me if you're still here thank you for lasting this long if you're still here leave a bunny emoji if there is a bunny if not an egg emoji something anyways um I will be back again on Monday with another video. Make sure you check out all of these ladies and see what they come up with for Easter Bunny DIYs. I hope you enjoy. I know you will enjoy theirs. And I hope you enjoyed today's video, my video. And don't forget to give me that thumbs up and comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And with all that being said, I'll see you on Monday. So with all that... <laughs> We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.